today I'm at a canal on the outskirts of Baycock for Toyota 5K Long Tail River Boat Racing. And today is going to be a very, very good day. It's an actual competition where the boats are using Toyota 5K engines. These are the four-cylinder engines that came in Toyotas in like the late 70s all the way up to the early 90s. Factory, a whopping 75 horsepower and 75 foot-pounds of torque at the crank. horsepower as the Honda K series these things with ITBs and like the titanium headers and straight pipe sound so incredibly sick and look at this I just found like what is the holy grail of these 5k engines look at these things that is crazy dude like I said these engines came in like Toyota Corollas and small SUVs and vans. Way back in the day, Toyota put these things in almost everything they manufactured. All the propellers are handmade. Like, it takes weeks to make these propellers. What country am I in? It's because this is an actual sanctioned race, but this is a big deal. You can tell by both sides of the canal being completely covered with people and vendors. Those things sound so incredibly sick. I wonder what they rev to. I need to ask somebody. I think the factory red line on them is only like 6,500 RPM. And like I said, 75 horsepower, 75 foot-pounds of torque from the factory. But these are modified. Hey, they might even make triple digits, which I know is not a lot of horsepower in a car, but on a wooden toothpick, on a canal, makes for a pretty fast machine. This was a very serious event. These are all the trophies for the winners. I'm not sure if they have different classes or not, but I do know all the boats at this event are using the Toyota 5K engine. So what they're doing here is they're changing propellers. They're moving to a new propeller on this. And these are the tools that they use to change the propellers. Hello. <laughs> and the thing is, is like I told you guys before, it might be weird to come to these events because like you're the only foreigner here, but everybody is so incredibly nice. And they're just excited that a foreigner is coming out and enjoying their form of motor sport. Yeah, look. Fresh propeller and uh, ready to rock. This is the start line. I wanted to come down here to see if it operates the same way as the little boats. My last video here in Thailand on boat racing 
was much smaller boats with single piston engines. And it was the juniors racing. It was like seven and eight year old Thai kids. And I can tell already, it does operate the same. On the back of the boat, there's a contraption that basically hooks the propeller into this contraption. And once both boat drivers give them the thumbs up that they're ready, they pull a lever, which drops the propellers into the water and they are off to the race. <laughs> has grown significantly and if you're new here i just want to say welcome if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy this type of content please do me a favor and make sure to subscribe thanks listen despite helmets actually being worn we know for a fact but this right here is definitely not true. They, they, this is a typo. It should be safety uh, fifth. What's up, Spider-Man? Fist bump? Fist bump? Boom. What is going on here? What engine is that? Bro, that's a uh, 4AEG 4 4AEG out of the Toyota AE86 rocking ITBs, tubular header, straight pipe exhaust. Man, that is sweet. I bet that thing sounds sick. Yeah, they're definitely not competing today. This is like the top tier class of boats in Thailand. Again, the last video I did was the small boats. What we're seeing today with the Toyota 5K engines, those are like the medium sized boats. And these are when you get up to the big dogs. And they normally run this engine, the, uh, the Toyota from the AE86. I've even seen a couple running Honda K series, like a K20 or K24. But hands down, the most popular engine to put on these boats is the 4JJ. And that's the inline four turbo diesel that comes in these, the Isuzu D Maxes. And my boat, the Titanic boat, is about this size, but yeah, it's gonna have a 500 horsepower 13B rotary. Uh, eventually, it will hit the water, I promise. I can confirm it sounds fucking sick to get to 500,000 subscribers. So again, please do me a personal favor and make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. Again, thank you for your support. <laughs> 